Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my Erin Condor plan with me, and this is just look back at my last week. I used the Planning Roses Pumpkins Please kit, and I used tons of silver foil, and I actually really love how this spread turned out, and a lot of you guys really liked how this turned out as well. I did add in this, like, Simply Gilded washi up at the top because there wasn't any deco, and... I thought it needed a little bit of something. So that was this last week. Let's move on to this week here, which is a super exciting week. Um, I had said in my monthly that I didn't know what was happening on the 8th, but I was just told what's happening on the 8th and I'm going to see Wicked and I'm so excited. My parents got me tickets for my birthday. So um, I'm going to be using my Scribble Prince Co. kit for this week in my main planner and then I'm going to be using the kit that my mom got me in my rewind planner um, which you'll see it in my haul that I put up on Wednesday but let's get started with this I did go ahead and put in some overlays um, and all that good stuff this is like the ultimate it was like an ultimate exclusive kit so there's um like all the pages there's like the heart check boxes and all that stuff and yeah so I think this is all that I need for right now oh there's also little dots that I can put in I think I'll do like the deco at the same time so I'm gonna do all that these are the like overlays that I use I use the scribble prints co overlays in like the twinkle um overlay type that she has in silver of course and then um, I'm using these Stella Bow real glitter headers um, in silver. And then I use some of the Stella Bow photo corners. Um, I was going to use all of these like little circle kinds, but I messed up and used this circle kind on one of them, but it's fine. It matches. And then lastly, I used half of the Stars Bottom Washi pre-cut from the Sticky Committee. Um, for the bottom washi as you can see and then I have all of these simply gilded washies I'm not too sure which one I'm going to use yet for the bottom washi I'm tempted to do the blue because this part that I like picked is not very blue um yeah and I'll like save these to decorate throughout the spread so I'm gonna go ahead put all that down and then I'll be right back with you guys So I lied, I'm not going to do the deco right away because I think I want to try and put in some of the bigger pieces on the sidebar if I find the room for them. So I didn't do that. I'm going to put in my weekend banner now though because I want to make sure I save space for it. And I don't know, because I also have birthday countdown, there's like a lot happening. So I think I'm going to put the weekend banner on top of the bow washi or I'll do I'll do in between the two that's what we'll do okay so there's that that's taken care of um for little things this week I used the scribble prints co video trackers I actually was able to find a lot of matches for the colors which was really nice um and then of course my planning roses instagram icon 
And then I did go ahead and prep my little Christmas countdowns, which are from Magic Prince Co. And I also have my little check boxes. I'm gonna do that this time around while I'm doing my little things, just so it goes a little bit smoother. And then I think I'm gonna pull out my birthday countdowns, which are from Scribble Prince Co. Um, because I need to find place for those too. So, I was kind of thinking about putting them down here. Which means I would have to move this, but I'm almost okay with it. Because the other thing is, is that these are see-through. So if I layer them, you'll be able to see. Okay, that's what we'll do. And then I think we'll just put this here. Um, let's put it on this washi. I think this washi is really pretty. So, even though it's like mixed foil, I feel like I could have gone silver or gold with this spread. Um, I even looked back at when Andrea used this spread, or this kit, to see what she did. And she did like holographic foil, which I tend to just lump in with... Um, silver foil like if I use silver foil I'm using holographic foil as well probably um so yeah let me put this weekend banner in oh that looks so pretty although I do need to move it over a little bit but that's the beauty of putting stickers down on washi they're easy to move around okay so there's that that makes me happy I'm okay with that um, I'm just going to have to be really smart about space. <laughs> so, let's do the birthday countdown since I figured that out. So, Monday will be seven days. Yeah. Which is kind of nice that, like, this started all in one week. I don't think if this started, like, if it wasn't seven days total, I would have used the countdown. Um... Or I would have used the countdown, but I mean, I probably would have waited until it was, like, a week. Because I wouldn't want to switch between this, like, font and the Rose Color Days font. But I really like these. And it's kind of special to do a bigger one for, like, the week before. I don't know. I might be crazy. But I'm super excited for my birthday. I think this is the first birthday that I've had that everything has been such a big surprise. Like usually I've been, you know, setting up what my party's gonna look like, where I'm going, if I'm gonna do anything. Um, and this was the first year that I kind of just didn't do any of that. And I let my friend handle that cause she said she wanted to. And so that's how the trip came to be where we're going in January, which I still don't know, but I did find out that I'm going to find out um, kind of on the last day that we celebrate my birthday, which will be the 16th is when we're doing like a dinner. Um, so I'm excited to find out where we're going. But the other thing is, is that I'm not, she's telling me where we're going, but she's not telling me um, what we're doing. So it'll still be a surprise. Um, and then I really like this sticker that says tomorrow is my birthday because that's very exciting. So there's that. I think it looks really pretty and it's super foily with like the holographic bows in the background and then the silver on top. I'm very happy with that. Let's do the little things. So um, I think I kind of just want to put, well, no, I can't do that. Okay, so let's do the little things first, and then we'll go back in and do the Christmas countdowns. So I didn't fill in any of these little things because I just got them out and put them all together. Um, this was like very impromptu. Normally I like am able to pre-plan my spreads like mid-week, the week before. Um, but because I didn't know that this is what we were doing, I actually had a different spread planned. Or like a different kit ready for this week but then you know I was surprised so I'm very excited but it does mean that I'll have more to fill out while my camera cools down which is good um and then so Monday 911 is on I believe that's it Tuesday 
there's um, my rewind plan with me will go up and then it's my uncle's birthday and Monday this video will go up obviously and then Wednesday catfish is on I believe or something like that I forget what's on I think it's like criminal minds and catfish or something like that um, I do have to work this day but I do get off 30 minutes early because I'm going to a concert this night but we'll get to that um, and then there's the two TVs, and then I'll have a haul going up on this day, which I have decided to put in my Advent stuff that I've opened so far into my hauls. I am, I like do put a warning in it, and it's at the end of the video that I show that stuff, just in case anyone doesn't want to see. But I like, I'm, I decided to open the 12 day ones, like kind of every other day, so that I'm opening... You know, I want to see what's in there and I want to be able to use it if it's stuff that, um, that is like Christmassy or wintery and stuff like that. So that's why I wanted to not just wait until like 12 days before Christmas. And that's also the reason why I decided to open my Scribble Prince Co. Advent Calendar starting in the winter season. Because if you didn't know or if you haven't noticed in your Advent Calendar that, um, uh oh. There's another little thing that there's like, I think it's eight pages or six pages or something like that of for each season. So I just went to the back of the, of the advent calendar to win the, um, winter, like journaling cards started to show up and I started opening it there so that I could start using the stickers and I'm glad because so far what I've gotten I've been able to use right away as opposed to if I opened it later on like a few days before Christmas I wouldn't have had that much to do with them um Friday all I have is work I kind of want to put this down here I'll be working at night and then Saturday my school plan with me will go up my last one before the winter break and my second to last semester will be finishing which is so exciting um but yeah so I'll put that in there and then on Sunday there's just a TV show I think it's John Oliver or no it's Shark Tank which I don't know what it is, but I haven't been watching Shark Tank, so I don't know why I keep marking it, but that's fine. Um, okay, so then let's go back and do all these, like, Advent things. So, for Monday, I have my little... Oh, I also changed out my um, clips for my pre-planner, and I put my Sagittarius Love Neen little clip on it, if you guys were interested. Um, so there's not a whole lot going on on Monday, which is nice because the rest of the week is completely bonkers, but it looks like I'll need three little dots, and that's because I was planning to open my, actually I'm going to do these first, I was planning to open my Simply Gilded every other day, um, until Christmas, so that means it would start on the 3rd. But I have yet to get that yet. I've, I was seeing on her Instagram stories that they were supposed to ship on the 30th, but I didn't get a shipping notification. I don't know, but she also said she was including stuff in orders to kind of make up for it. So I'm appreciative of that, but I'm kind of bummed. I mean, it makes sense because it's only a 12-day calendar, and it did say that... They were expected to get to you no later than December 10th. So I'm like not mad about it, but I am going to put it in and then just leave it unchecked so that when I do get the items that I'll be able to open a few. That's like my tricky, tricky way to get to open some stuff when I finally do get them. Why is my dog barking? Um, okay, so then it'll be Scribble Prince Co., Planning Roses, and Simply Gilded. And then Tuesday, I guess we'll put it up at the top. Or I should put it down at the bottom. Um, we have this one. And I just layered these little countdown scripts 
over the smallest piece of patterned and solid washi from the kit, um, which kind of pays off for getting the larger kit because I was able to do that. Um, this day there's only two scribble prints and the sticky committee, which I just, today is the second, I opened my first sticky committee little bag. I was going to say box, but it's a bag. And I'm very pleased with it. I'm very excited about how that looks. Um, the fifth, um, I don't know. This is kind of a bummer because there's not a whole lot of room because we're doing stuff this night, so I'm gonna try and like squish it into this little amount of space down here. That's the only bummer is that I have so many things that I wanna mark, but it's also the craziest season and there's not enough room. <laughs> but I wanted to use this super decorative kit, so that's okay. We'll make it work, we'll, we'll find the space. So I need three on this day as well because there'll be scribble prints. Simply Gilded and Planning Roses. I really love that I came up with this idea to do little check marks. I think it's really cute and it's fun. <laughs> so there's that. It's a little squished, but we need to make it work for this day. Um, and we'll put the little bow in. And then over here on Thursday, 19 days. I did some more Christmas shopping over this weekend and it feels like we're at the week of Christmas <laughs> in my head because I never shop early and I never am on this on, on top of presents, but I would say that I have a good like two thirds of the presents that I need to get gotten and like figured out. Um, I do need to get my own wrapping paper. We got like the family wrapping paper, but I need to get my own wrapping paper. Um, but yeah, that's like my Christmas update. Where are you guys at with your Christmas shopping? Are you like super ahead or super behind? I'm usually super behind, so there's like no shame in being super behind. I totally understand. This is like a fluke that I am so on top of things this year. Um, so we'll put these in. It's three on this day. And don't worry, I did count all these check boxes, so I know that there's enough um, for all these shenanigans that I'm up to. Um, and we get a Santa hat on this day. And then Saturday. Where should we put it on Saturday? Because there's like a lot. There's a lot going on. Ugh, okay, we'll put it up here. And there's even a lot going on Sunday. It's going to be so entertaining to see me plan out my week. <laughs> I'm very, very excited for it. Okay, so thankfully there's only two on this day though, so that's nice. And there's a little snowflake. And then lastly, we made it guys, day 16. Um, I'm gonna put this down here, or no, I'll put it up here. No, I'll, no, mm. <laughs> I'll put it here because the thing that we're doing on Sunday is like at night, so. And I need three this day. And then we'll be all done with the countdowns. Thank goodness. I'm glad though that a lot of the stuff that we're doing this week is a little bit bigger. Like they're events that take a bit more time. So not having a ton of space is okay. Okie doke. So there's all that. And let's do the sidebar real fast. Which I do have planned out over here. We have the quote box. Uh, because I knew you. I have been changed for good. I should white out this. These dots. I was just watching Emily's plan with me. She was like, I'm paranoid of lines showing through and I feel you. I feel like I got it kind of by proxy because I was just watching your your plan with me. Um, but there's that, which is so pretty. Um, and then we have the two habit trackers. I kind of want to put in some washi to split it all up. 
I really like this Galaxy washi. Um, it just has like stars and hearts all over it and it's holographic. It's from the mystery kit or the mystery box that she just did. Um, or no, this was a September one, but I got it practically at the same time as the, um, was it the September one? Oh my gosh. I just had a moment of like, November has already passed. That was weird. Um, I don't know, it feels super recently, but I know it was it was the Galaxy one, and it was like kind of behind because she was waiting for the Pen Gems pen. Um, but I'm gonna put my little toothbrush and toothpaste sticker and my journaling sticker, both from Magic Prince Co. And then we have my Happy Meal tracker, which, what was my plan with this? <laughs> I put in two strips of washi, but I don't know exactly what my plan was. That's interesting. I love when that happens. Um, oh, I know what it was. I was thinking that I had a script for Happy Meal, but I really don't think that I do. But it's okay. I can pull out like an envelope sticker. Envelope, envelope. Um, let's look in here. I do have like this script sampler, but nothing, nothing really. So let's grab a envelope. We'll do this one from Magic Prince Co. Put it away <laughs> for the sidebar. I've been trying to be better about ordering stuff like for me, like stickers and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully this is just filled with packages that have other people's presents in them. And my Sibley Gilded Advent, cause I'm real excited about that. <laughs> um, and then I did this like little to-do header over the top of some patterned washi. And we'll stick in this checkbox. I think it's gonna hang over a little bit, but We'll figure it out. Oh, it's just the teensy bit. That's fine. I don't even think it'll affect the heart if I just trim that. Um, but yeah, that will be it for the sidebar. I think I'm gonna go in while my camera cools down and figure out where I wanna put all the deco because I'm feeling very particular about this spread. So I'm gonna go and do that and I'm gonna fill everything out. I think I'm just gonna go with black. Um, Alphabet's accessories are black so I'm just gonna do black pen this time um and yeah I'll be right back to plan out this week with you guys all right guys so this spread already looks like I'm done but I'm definitely not I did go ahead and fill everything in so far and put in all the deco and the dots and everything so let's get into the actual plans um for school this week i'm going to be using these stella bow um silver foiled stickers they are like colored she does have ones that um aren't colored like you can get transparent ones i believe um but i'm just going to use this like pink and blue color in the books i only have class four times this week which is really nice um so yeah um i'm going to mark school on I think little things this week so Monday we'll do the green color and put this in here I think I'll be able to throw in a piece of washi in that tiny space which makes me happy we'll do blue um, this is from the candy bows the blue and pink holographic washi that I pulled out um, they were like perfect matches. Um, it's funny, even though this kit has that really, you know, strange green color, it really does match a lot of stuff just because it's kind of the generic pink and blue that most um, sticker shops use or clip art artists use so there's that for school and then that's it for Monday I do have some space which is nice uh, because I have room to fill in whatever happens Tuesday is a super duper busy day so 
I already have the birthday in and the countdown. We have Starbucks to mark, which I have these from the winter colorway. I'm gonna use the pink um, with the silver circle up here. And then what's after that? School. So we'll do the blue and put that in here. I'm gonna really squish this in because there's lots of stuff I want to mark on this day. I don't even know why I'm marking school, but I am. <laughs> so there's that. And then I have a doctor's appointment, or not a doctor's appointment, but like a skin test, another skin test. So I'm going to use the green, I guess, and stick that in here. Oh my gosh, we're not going to be able to fit in everything. I think I'm going to have to not mark family night which is a bummer because I love marking family night, but whatever. Oh, and this family night was going to be super duper fun because we were going to try making homemade pho, which it could be a disaster, but I have my fingers crossed. So I'm going to use these once more with love doctor and nurse stickers. Um, these will be in my haul that's going up on Wednesday, um, but I'm going to use the pink one and put it over to the side and then lastly I have another appointment to go to and I think I'm just gonna write on the paper and use this bow or actually I'm gonna use the little bow that comes down here to mark that like so and that'll be that it's kind of funny that the blues are on the side and the pinks are on that side but that's okay so I can't use my fun little family night sticker, but I'll save it for another time. Um, let me move it. Okay, so that's it for Tuesday. Wednesday, I do have school, so I'm trying to and slip it into this space here and use this little thing like so. And we'll use a blue stack of books that actually fits perfectly um which is good because this is the night that i'm going to the lauren sanderson concert which i'm very excited about um we kind of got tickets just because it was like a it was they were pretty cheap tickets i think they were like 13 dollars a piece and it's a small venue and we don't feel like super invested so it'll just be kind of fun to see a small artist in a small little venue, um, which I'm excited for. We're not like huge fans, <laughs> like we don't know all the lyrics to the song. I feel kind of bad because I was watching her, like the artist's Instagram stories and there's a lot of people who like know every single lyric to every single song she's ever written and I'm like, I just know the recent album, <laughs> but it'll still be a fun experience. Um, okay, so then Thursday I have another doctor's appointment oh boy um so i'm gonna use the blue one this time um but this one i'm not getting well actually i should put in my um what's it called my school first oh wait no i don't have school this day i just have my tests this day that's awesome i love that i don't have school this day <laughs> so we just have the doctor's appointment so i'm gonna put it in on the blue label or i should do pink instead of matching the blue. We'll do the bright pink and put that in like so. And that's at 1.30, so it's like right before I go to work. But that's the, gonna be the day that I'm gonna get a list of all the things that I'm allergic to. And I'm gonna find out um, w like what the course of action will be, whether I need to get like immunotherapy shots, if I'm just gonna need to take Zyrtec forever, what the plan is. <laughs> um, and then I also need to pre-plan that day. And that's the only other thing that work, which I've already marked. So we're gonna use the little pre-planning sticker that she has in here and just leave it at that. We'll leave some space just in case anything else comes up um, in there. This is actually working out much better than I thought it was going to, which is really nice. Actually, I think I'm going to move this down 
because realistically I'll probably do it at night so I'll leave this space in the middle of the day which means I should probably move this down if I'm trying to be no we'll just leave it we'll leave it. I don't care too much about like chronological order in this planner but if it works then sometimes I'll strive for it <laughs> okie doke Friday school work payday and that's it so there is a payday flag in here that we can use I'm just gonna put this down on top of the little work label and then school will put up here and we'll do there's already blue we'll do the bright pink and we'll put it like this leave some space in case I want to fit in anything else and that will be that and then Saturday is going to be so much fun but as you can see I didn't get my nails done I don't know what's going on with my nail place but for some reason they're like they keep I don't know they were always so accommodating and they were like oh no like call on the day of it was never like a big deal if you called a few hours before you wanted to go in but now they're like oh no we don't have time and then the week before they like randomly closed so I was like very offended um <laughs> and I don't I don't know what's going on but I did like because when I called this past time I was like okay then tell me a time when I can come in because this is starting to be a bit ridiculous and so 11 30 on this day I will get my nails and my brows done thankfully um because I was starting to get worried um I'm not going to use a brow sticker because there's no room um but I'm gonna, just going to use this foiled nail polish sticker from Magic Prince Co and then I'll just write nails and brows um and then this night is when we're going to see Wicked which is so much fun so I'm of course going to use the movie marquee and put that in it's nice that there's going to be some space just in case anything else happens that I want to mark I highly doubt it I think what's going to happen is because my midterms I mean midterms my finals are the week after this so I think during the morning I'm going to study and then I'm going to go get my nails done and then I'm going to come home and study some more and then we're going to go to the play <laughs> so there's that. This is a little crooked, but that's okay. There we go. And then I did, this is another thing you'll see in the haul um, on Wednesday, but there's this $75 freebie that I got for back Black Friday from Scribble Prince Co. And it has Alphaba and Glinda, um, little like holographic munchkins and so I just think it's perfect I don't know when else I would use these so I need to put them in I'm gonna put them on either side of the movie marquee or of the marquee I guess I shouldn't say movie marquee and have that be the little deco for it but it's so cute I love it and wicked isn't a long word so there will still be space to put in oh my gosh could I have used there's totally a happy meal sticker in here that I could have used like the script oh well it's fine I'll save it I'll save it for a later date but I love the munchkins okay I need to move forward <laughs> so then on Sunday um we're having like a birthday I guess it's kind of like a birthday party but it's mostly like just the family getting together they're celebrating my birthday and my uncle's birthday so I'm going to use a blue box with the little bubbles because oh wait no I want to use a squared off box I really like using, I've never, I don't think I've ever used one of the squared off boxes before. And there's a blue one. So we're going to put that in and it's Glenda's dress and I'm very excited about it. So there's that. And then I'm going to use one of the um, scripts, like the birthday scripts from Scribble Prince Co. The sheet that had the... Um, birthday countdown on it to mark that there's eat all the cake there's various different I kind of like it's my birthday this one um or make a wish 
I don't know, they're all so cute. I think I'll just do a happy birthday script. I think that'll work. Yeah, I won't do it's my birthday because it's technically not my birthday yet on that day. Um, but I'm just gonna use this one and layer it over the top. I'm so excited. Or maybe I should put it down at the bottom. Top, bottom, top, bottom. Um, we'll just, do, we'll just, we're doing this because we've committed. So there's that. Oh, it's so cute. Are there any other like little icons that I want to throw in there? There's just a present. No, so I think we're good. But that is it. Let me zoom you guys out. I know I say that's it. Like it was nothing. <laughs> um, but I'm so excited. I think that this looks so good. What do you guys think? I'm very pleased with it. I'm happy that I sectioned, or like I moved around the red because I was worried about the red colors, but there's your little wiggle. I think it's so pretty. I love that I did the birthday countdowns down here and just all of the, all of the foiledness is great. I'm very excited. So I will keep out my Simply Gilded washies to kind of fill in throughout the week, but I don't know that I'm even going to have room for those because... It's such a busy week. So I'm going to go ahead and fill everything out with my two black pens here. And then I'll be back to show you guys the finished product. All right, guys. Here is the spread all filled out. And I'm totally obsessed. Let me try and give a proper wiggle here. I feel like if I go slower, maybe you can see it. Or maybe you're just seeing all of the glare possible. But still, it is so shiny and sparkly, and I'm so excited. I'm glad that I bought this kit back when it was released, because I would be so bummed out right now if I didn't have it to use for this occasion. Um, but yeah, definitely check out my haul video and the um, rewind video that I'm going to put up, not this Tuesday, but um, the 11th so that you guys can see the other Wicked kit that I'm going to use. Um, but yeah, let me show you what I have left of the kit here. We have the Once More With Love sampler, the bows. I did use up all of these full boxes. We have half of the bottom washi and these washi strips, the functional page. We do have this full box, which I really did like, but I wanted to use like their special boxes and then them too, so. I just didn't want to have this one. You know what I mean? So, and a ton of other like icons and a squared box. We have the heart check boxes, washi headers, fancy labels, little things, plain washi, two labels, a lot of the boxes. I just used one off of here. And then um, I saved this Glinda sticker because I think I want to use it for marking in my um, December rewind when I go and see Wicked. So that's why I saved that. And then there's just a few others on there. So it is an ultimate kit, so I'm probably gonna have a ton left over once the week is finished. But whatever is left, I will be putting in my D stash pile. I did see a few people um, selling this kit on the SBC buy sell trade group. If for some reason you really like this kit and you wanna get your hands on it, I would highly recommend joining that Facebook group. But yeah, that's it for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.